Hello everyone. Today we will be creating an architectural floor plan in AutoCAD. This is a rough sketch that I have made and we will be converting this sketch into an architectural drawing like this one. So we will learn how to convert this into this. So let's start. So I have opened my AutoCAD. First of all, I will set the units. I will type UN, uh, UN and then press enter. I will change the type to architectural press ok next i will attach the image uh, that sketch that i made into this autocad file i will type image attach i m a g e a double t a c c h enter and then i will open that image click on it open ok select where you want to attach it and that is it. I have attached that image in my AutoCAD file. Now I have this open with me as reference in my AutoCAD file. So it will make it easier for me to draw this plan. So let's start by making the boundary of this plan. This is 30 feet by 40 feet. So I will make lines of 30 feet. I will press L enter and uh, turn the ortho on. Line of 30 feet enter and over here again a line of 40 feet. As you can see this sketch is a lot bigger than the plan so I will just scale it a little bit so make it relatable SC enter point I think point 2 should be enough yes this looks better I'll just bring it closer like this so I have a line of 30 feet here and 40 feet here next I will uh, look at it 5 feet wide lawn so I will give an offset of 5 feet O enter 5 feet enter Next, uh, this bathroom is 6 feet 6 inch. So I'll make another line over here. I'll just copy rather to copy this line, put it here and give an offset of uh, 6 feet 6 inch. Offset 6 feet 6 inch. Enter. I will print the extra line here. Now, as you know that the lines in floor plan are not single lines. They are rather double lines showing the uh, thickness of the walls so I will start making to make that thickness side by side I will give it an offset of 9 inch as brick walls are 9 inch generally I'll just give an offset here and here over here I will trim the extra lines I will trim uh, no, I will trim these lines like this Next, I will make the kitchen that is 7 feet by 15 feet 9 inch. So I will give an offset of 15 feet 9 inch, offset 15 feet 9 inch, enter. Okay, let's see. This is 7 feet like this. So another offset, 7 feet, and like this, enter. I will trim the extra lines like this. I will give thickness to wall of 9 inch. And over here, I will give it a thickness of 4.5 inch like this. Okay, over here, I have the bedroom. This is 12 feet by 12 feet. So I will give an offset of 12 feet like this. I will give it its thickness of 9 inch like this. Now I will use the fillet command F enter to con complete this uh, uh, bedroom space. I will click on this line and this line and you see fillet has made this automatically. I will press enter again, this line and this line and fillet has made this bedroom for me. Next I have the lounge. Uh, this is 14 by 9 by 10 feet, 4 and a half inch. I will give an offset of 10 feet, 4.5 inch and enter. Give a thickness 9 inch like this okay what's next i have staircase generally staircases are of four feet so i will give an offset of four feet and enter give a thickness this time of 4.5 inch inches and enter now i have the drawing room 13 feet four and a half inch by 11 feet seven and a half okay i'll just give an offset of 13 feet over here 13 feet four and a half 13 feet four 4.5 inch enter given a line thickness of 9 inch like this 
okay what was uh, this size 11 feet 7.5 inch okay offset 11 feet 7.5 inch like this give it a thickness of 9 inch like this and use fillet to complete this like this F enter like this what's next I have this powder room 4 feet by 4 feet okay I'll give an offset of 4 feet over here like this give it a thickness of 9 inch like this complete this line by fillet command F enter like this again give an offset of 4 feet like this give an offset of 4.5 inch like this and trim the extra lines i think uh, yeah we don't need a line here as well i'll trim this one trim this one and uh, yes we don't need this one as well and i will use fill a command to complete this like this this is it delete the extra lines and i'm starting to make a, a bit sense here with my plan it's starting to get into shape delete the extra lines like this don't forget to keep saving your work that is done by pressing ctrl s let me quickly just delete all the extra lines okay i've deleted all the extra lines now i will make complete the boundary wall over here that i have a front wall of five feet so i'll give an offset of five feet over here like this complete this over here so this looks better now okay so now i will give a line weight to this all these walls as i have made all my walls in this plan i will change the layer of these walls i will select everything and go to layers i have already made all my layers uh, i've made a video of this you can watch that later to learn how to make these layers and what type of line weights to use for what item i i will go to dynamic walls i will have you made this layer and all my layers are in dynamic walls now they're just this, these boundary walls that I don't want in this dynamic wall so I'll just quickly add them in the boundary wall layer I'll trim these and uh, make separate wall and I will quickly add these to the boundary wall layer there it is and this one as well in the boundary wall over here and this one in the boundary wall as well like this give it an offset of 4.5 inch like this and an offset over here like this and uh, i've made this and i'll use the match property command m a enter and select this wall and convert this wall in walls layer and you see that this boundary wall has also converted so i'll just quickly extend this and delete this wall and copy this line and like this so my plan is starting to get into shape next i will add doors in this plan for that i will use go to my blocks file in which i have saved all my blocks i will copy the doors dynamic doors and normal doors blocks i'll copy them with control c and i will go to my drawing in which i'm working on and i will paste it by control v and i've placed my doors okay now i have two kind of doors these are called dynamic blocks and these are called normal blocks i will place both of them and teach you how how to use them first i will use the dynamic block door i will copy it and bring it close to my drawing where i want to place it i want a door over here so first i will make an opening for the door i will make a line okay i'll just con convert my current layer to dynamic walls layer it will be easier for me i'll Make a line like this give an offset 4.5 inch and i want a door of uh, three feet six inch wide three feet six inch enter i will use the trim command tr enter double click and i have made this opening for my door next i will place this door in this opening i will just use the align command al and enter i will place one end over here and the other end over here and I will press enter now the door is placed but you see that the door is opening on the wrong side so I will just use the mirror command to mirror it M I enter and this is the mirror command I have mirrored the door I will now move it with M enter move it down like this and I have placed my door 
I will just change its layer to the doors layer. Door one is the layer for it, and I have placed my door. So this this was how we place a normal block. This is a bit longer method, but there is an advanced method for it by placing dynamic blocks. I have made another video on how to make dynamic blocks. You can use watch that later. But right now I'm going to show you how these dynamic blocks are easier to work with. I will copy this dynamic block and bring it close over here. Now I want to place this block over here. So I'll just hold it from this arrow and bring it close to the wall like this and I will press enter and the door has been placed. I can even flip it like this or like this whatever the situation is but this these blocks are much easier to manage and to place and they save a lot of time as you, you saw this door took a lot of time as compared to this one so i will quickly place all the doors so i am done placing all the doors in this in this uh, plan i have made this opening over here and added all the doors in everywhere next i want to add windows in this plan for that again i can use the dynamic block or i can use the normal window adding, adding method so let's start with the normal method for that i'm gonna make line where i want to place the window i suppose i want to place a window in the center point over here i will make a line i want to place a window of three feet so i will give offset of one feet six inch on both sides one feet six inch on this side one feet six inch on this side total makes three feet i will just remove this line and i will use the trim command tr enter and i will trim it then i will make a line over here like this then i will give it an offset of three inch and three inch and three inch i will change the layer of it i've already made the layers you can see that vi that video of layers but over here i will use this layer window dynamic and enter so i've placed a window over here next i will try to use the dynamic blocks window i will copy the window and make it close to where i want to place it i will bring it here then i will click on it and grab it with this arrow and make it place it over here and you see the window is placed so easily i can copy it and place it somewhere else like this c o and enter and copy it i want to place it in here so i'll just make it come close like this and it is too large so i'll just reduce its size like this these dynamic blocks are very handy and they save us a lot of time so let me just quickly add all the windows so you can fast forward so i have added all my windows next i will add my staircase i have left the space for stairs i'll just make lines like you saw, see over here but i will make proper lines of uh, four feet and give it an offset of one feet like this typically we need 20 to 22 steps so let's see how much we get i think these are enough then i'll just turn this like this give it a turn over here offset again one foot like this but these steps are too high so i'm going to use them in dotted line i will just select this and change the layer to dot dotted or projection that i have already made you can learn how to make make them with my video that link is attached below so i just complete this and i will give it another layer of steps layer of stairs like this if you're finding this video to be informative don't forget to like it next i will add furniture in this plan for that i already have blocks that i'm going to add i have collected them in this file so i'll just copy them all and take them in my other file in which i'm working press ctrl c and open this file and ctrl v and paste them over here autocad does have have its own built-in library for blocks you can even use that but i have already downloaded these blocks and i will be using these you can download your own or use the autocad built-in library okay i'm just going to copy this and place them where i want them to copy and place this block over here 
like this and copy the bed over here and bring it over here like this i want to rotate it so i'll r o enter and rotate it and place it over here like this okay i want to add a bit furniture in this bedroom so i'll copy this one copy co is the command copy and bring it here and rotate it r o enter for rotate and rotate like this then i'm going to move with the m enter and make it close like this using the shortcut keys is much more faster in autocad so i would highly recommend you to learn all the shortcuts and make your workflow faster so let me just add all this furniture quickly so i have added all my furniture next i will be adding text in this i will use the command m t e x t enter and specify where, where i want to add my text like this first of all i will give size to it i think 7 inch should be enough enter and i will type kitchen k i t c h e n h e n and enter uh, sorry click outside like this and kitchen text is added underneath it i will just copy it below and paste new text so here i will give the size i'm going to check it by pressing d i and enter and see what the size is like this the size is 15 feet 9 inch i enter so i will type 15 feet 9 inch 15 feet dash 9 inch by and let's see what the size here is d i enter and like this it is it is again let's see 7 feet so i will type 7 feet dash 0 inch and this is my kitchen size i will just move it a little bit like this select it change it to the layer of text like this and in the same way i'll just copy it from here like this and place it here in this bedroom i will change it the te kitchen text to bedroom bed room and i will check the size d i enter click lower here size is 12 feet and the other size is uh, 12 feet this bedroom is 12 feet by 12 feet i will change the text 12 feet by 12 feet and the bedroom text is here in this way let me quickly add all the text so you can fast forward so i have added all my text and you can see this plan looks complete now you can just plot it by control p and uh, previous plot plot change it to pdf dwg to pdf and select the window like this and preview it looks good enough you can just right click and plot it and save it in your computer and this plan is saved thanks for watching today's video for more informative content subscribe our channel and press the bell icon take care goodbye